once a day as we do our workouts. All right. Happy Tuesday. Here we are. Let's go ahead and start with our armbands on. If you've not already popped those on, if you have popped those on, please grab a sip of water before we get started, making sure we hydrate. If you've already had your water and your armbands are on, well, congratulations. You've already won the day. You're good to go. And you can just hang tight for one minute while we all get set up. All right. So oh, man. once we get our armbands on, you, if you wouldn't mind popping everyone on mute, go ahead, get your cycle going. Good. And we'll just start by shrugging out the shoulders. I'm starting to work up and around through any shoulder tension. Moving around a little bit to get everything going. And I want us to start today, this is not a strength-based exercise, just a stretch. Step the feet slightly wider and start to reach side to side, up and overhead. Doing your best to keep your shoulders stacked, opening up the sides of the body as well. Awesome. Good. Good. And reach up and over to the left, big side body stretch, maybe even looking over up at that top arm, lengthening the fingertip away from your body, skinny big stretch all the way from the left hip, to the left pinky finger. And then come back to center, switch sides, reach the right arm up and over. Good. Keep that arm really active. We don't want to let it bend to get tired. Keep reaching through the fingertips. And then come back to the center. One more arm uh, warm up before we get into our exercises. Bend the elbows. And I want you to push the elbows as far back as you can. So notice I'm creating space across my chest. My elbows are not in line with my shoulders. They're even further back. And keeping your elbows back behind you as much as you can. Start to reach the arms straight up. And then re-bend the elbows. Imagine you're squeezing them together behind the body. Awesome, let's take three more. Big reach up, big pull down. Uh, last two. And last one, reach the arms up, pull the elbows down behind you, start to pulse them behind your back, little pulses, creating space across the chest, squeezing the shoulder blades together. We have eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and one. I'd say we're warmed up, we're ready to go. Let's start with some work for the forearms with an upward wrist curl. So my hands come down by my sides, I make fists. I start to lift my hands up and up. So we're gonna start with 40 sets of these. My time is rolling, go ahead and jump on in whenever you can. Up and up. So that's the only part of the movement that really matters here is getting into those forearms, the contraction of this part of the arm to help lift your knuckles closer towards your wrist with each lift. Mm -hmm. A little lift. Good. My arms are nice and straight. I'm pressing the base of my hands away from my body and I'm reaching up and up. Good, last 10 seconds. This is our first round. We're gonna do one more. So if you're still catching on, getting warmed up, we got a whole nother set to dive into for three, two, and one. Go ahead and shake it out. So that's set one. Let's go ahead and jump into set two. If you want to add a little speed here, you're feeling comfortable with the exercise, go for it here. So first, press your fists away from your body, keeping the length, pulling the shoulders away from the ears. Second set, we are rolling. Get those fists up and up. And for those of you who live in more humid climates, Typically, we do not have much humidity in LA, but John, I'm really feeling for you there in Florida because we're getting humidity here and I don't even know how to handle it. <laughs> it's very different. That's why I'm inside today. <laughs> really? It's that bad out? Yeah, yeah it's, really it's humid. We're at like 73% here in Santa Monica and like, I don't know what to do with myself. I'm just like sleeping with an ice pack. <laughs> 
Nice, good, last 10 seconds. Lift and lift fast as you can. We have six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, shake it out. All right, this next exercise, you have two options. We're working our triceps. If you have some wrist sensitivity, you can take a tricep extension. So I bend the knees, press my arms straight back behind me. If you're looking for a little harder move today, we're gonna come down onto the floor for crab toe touch. So go ahead and make your way down onto the floor. My heels are underneath my knees. I lift my butt off the floor and I either tap hand to opposite knee or hand to opposite foot, okay? So let's go ahead and make our way down. It looks like someone threw something in the chat. Steve, if you wanna address that. Butts off the floor, we've got 40 seconds, either hand to alternate knee or hand to alternate foot. And our time is going. I don't care how fast you move, Try and keep your butt off the floor the whole time if you're in crab. If you're not in crab and you're doing the tricep extension, keep extending your arm fully back behind you, nice and straight the whole time. Mm -hmm. Good, keep going. See how we're doing here. Nice, I see a variety of different options and I like all those. Doesn't matter which one you do. There we go. And if you wanna add speed here, you're feeling good, you can go for it. This is our first of two sets. Nice straight arms if you're in crab, we have 10. Good, if you're doing the tricep extension, keep pulling the shoulders away from your ears for four, three, two, and one. Everybody tricep stretch, I'm gonna tangle up in my band. Bring the right arm across the body. Martha looks great, diving right on in, it's perfect. And left arm across the body. We've also got our Instagram Live going right now as well as our Zoom. So Instagrammers, if anything doesn't feel right in your body, always feel free to take a modification. All right, everybody, let's set ourselves up for the second set. Go ahead and make your way down onto your hands if you're doing crab. Otherwise, setting up for tricep extension number two, we are going up and up. Good, and if you're feeling really good here, add some speed, get going fast. Woo, there we go. Challenging the balance, working the glutes as well. We are half done. Awesome, good work, gang. Last 10. Whatever variation you're doing, do your best for seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Give the shoulders a shrug, come on up to stand. Instead of our normal bicep curls, this time we're gonna pull our elbows in towards our body. I'm gonna contract my biceps, so I wanna take a bend in the elbows, keeping a 90 degree angle in my forearm, between my forearm and my bicep, and I'm gonna squeeze my biceps, rotate them out, rotate them back in. Rotate them out, rotate them back in. So my time is going. This is our next movement. After this, we're gonna take a quick sip of water. We have our two sets. Then we'll take a quick sip of water. And then we'll dive into the rest of our movement. So rotating out as far as you can, pressing your thumbs back behind you and then bringing your pinky fingers towards each other. Out and in. I want you squeezing your biceps the whole time. Imagine you're bursting those bands off your arms. Amazing, we're doing it. Good. Maybe you even wanna contract the biceps a little bit more, pulling your fists closer towards your shoulders. Last 10. We have seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and rest. Shake it out. That's it. One more set. Get my bands adjusted. Pull the elbows into the midline of the body. Make those fists. Pull the fists into the body. Time is rolling. We're going out and in. And I actually think these are harder. The closer to 90 I have my arms, I'm able to press my thumbs back even more. But as you're doing this, no swaying out the back. So my back stays completely flat. The movement is all stemming from the shoulder and the bicep. Out 
and in. And really pause as you press back behind you. Squeeze, get all the muscles involved. Yeah. Awesome. Last 15 seconds. On this round, we're going to press out and we're going to pulse. I'll do it with you. We have 10. First seven, six, five, four, three, two. Press out, little pulses back behind you. Keep your core so engaged the spine cannot bend. Pulse, pulse, press, press. Yes, eight, seven, six, five. Squeeze your arms in towards the body. First three, two, and one. Whew, we haven't done those ones in a minute, and I really like them. Grab a quick sip of water. We have three more exercises to do. We're going to get our heart rate up, and then we're going to swap out to our leg bands and have our questions a day. Once you grab your sip of water, this next exercise we're going to do is called shoulder tap push-up launcher. Sounds complicated, but I'll walk us all through it. Go ahead and let's all make our way onto our hands and knees together. Let me angle this down a bit so you can see. Fantastic. All right. So we're all going to come down onto our hands and knees. And there's two variations of this exercise. So the full variation, if you're wanting the extra challenge today, is you're going to come up into plank position. You're going to tap your shoulder, tap your other shoulder, press your butt back, come forward, take a push up. So I tap, tap press back, shift forward, push up. Otherwise, you can do this just as well on your knees. Tap, tap, press back, come forward, that's the launcher, and push up, okay? So whichever variation suits your body best today, I'm gonna walk through it for our first couple together, and then we'll set you free to do it on your own. So let's all make our way into a position, either plank or on hands and knees. Time is starting now. I tap, tap, press my butt back, launch forward, Come down into that push up. Tap, tap, press back, launch forward, drop into the push up. Keep going. Good. And as you're doing this, I want us to be especially mindful that our core stays active and engaged the entire time. Awesome. Woo, there we go. And as you drop your butt back, good adjustment, George. I like it. Getting our butt back towards our heel as we press back into it. Nice, Diane. Good. Mm -hmm. Last 15 seconds. If you need to pause and plank, you can pause and plank. I don't care how fast you go. We have seven, six, five, four, three, two, and everybody drop your knees. Let's open up the shoulders. Two circles with the left arm. One, two, two circles with the right arm. One. Two, let's make our way back into plank position or stand your hands and knees. Second set in three, two, one. Here we go. Tap, tap, press back, launch forward, push up. Tap, tap, back, forward, push up. Keep going. That launcher term comes from when we press back and then we get to kind of launch ourselves forward. Just fun names to keep things interesting. Nice. Great. Half done. Woo, looking good, gang. Nice Instagram. Last 10 seconds. Good. Let's see if we can do one more for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Go ahead and drop the knees. Come up to sit so I can demonstrate our next exercise and we'll do it all together. So I call these ones the I's, Y's, and T's. We're gonna make our way down onto our bellies. We extend the arms forward. I lift up into an I, a Y, and a T with my arms. I have I, Y, and T. And if it's too much on the lower back, you don't have to lift the legs, you can just do arms. I, Y, and T. That's the movement. Go ahead and make your way down onto your belly. We're gonna start together in four, three, two, and one. Here we go. I, Y, 
and T. Squeeze your shoulder blades. I, Y, and T. Keep going. Doing your best to keep your gaze down at the floor the whole time. I'll tell you when time is up and when we should start. So do our best to keep a long back of the neck so we don't crunch into the spine too much. Great. I, Y, and T. Awesome. Nice. Last 10. Get those arms off the floor, extending through the fingertips. Give me one more set for seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Go ahead and make a pillow with your hands. You can rest your sheet. Side. We've got one more set of these. Then we've got one more exercise. And we'll come up to stand and get our heart rate up. All right. Everyone, extend your arms long. Fingertips and toes reaching in opposite directions. We're starting in three, two, and one. We go I, Y, and T. Bring them up. I, Y, and T. Keep going. And to make this extra challenging, you can try and keep your arms off the floor the entire time you're doing the exercise. I know it's hard. That's the goal. We open up our shoulders. So we're not actually building strength here. We're working the mobility of our shoulders, which is why our arms can be up and overhead. Awesome. Go gang, go. These look good. Good job, Instagram. Last 10. Woo, squeeze those shoulder blades together. Who's that doing those? John, you look great. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Come on up, give the shoulders a shrug. So just a note, typically we want to do movements where our arms are below our body so that the blood can pull. The exception I made for this exercise is because we're doing it for mobility. So the point of this was to open up the shoulders and gain range of motion. So just food for thought if you're thinking about doing some exercises on your own. All right, our last upper body exercise is gonna be a forearm plank walk up. So I'm gonna make my way into forearm plank. I come down into my forearm. My shoulders are stacked over my elbows. I come back into a plank position. I walk up as far as I can. So I'm also opening up the back of my hamstrings. And then I walk back down into plank. I walk up as far as I can. Woo! I walk all the way back down into plank. Now, modification for this, walk up, baby steps, walk back down, drop your knees. Come up, walk up, baby steps, walk down, hover your knees, drop your knees, come back up, okay? So we've got 40 seconds, we're going in three, two, and one. Meet me in forearm plank, start to walk it up. High as you can, walk it back out. Walk it up, my upper body does not move, my shoulders stay over my elbows, and I walk it back down. The blood is pooling in my biceps, and that's exactly what we want. You making sure we breathe. Good, keep going. Is it hard to walk your feet up towards your shoulders? Absolutely. You're basically coming into an inversion. Nice. Go, Jim, go. Last 15 seconds. Martha's got it. George has got it. Look at how high George is going. Good. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Drop your belly down to the floor. Leave your forearms rooted down, getting a nice spine stretch. If you want a deeper spine stretch, you can press the hands into the floor, lifting the elbows up. We've got one more set of those. And we'll hop up. So start to make your way back down onto your forearms. Tuck the toes, lift up into plank. Our time is rolling 40 seconds. Walk up as high as you can and walk it back down. We come up as high as we can and we walk it back down. Awesome. Keep moving. Good. And if you need to hang out and pause in forearm plank, hang out and pause in forearm plank. That's fine. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. 
fantastic. Mm -hmm. 20 more seconds. Keep going. Go, Jen, go. We have 10, 9, 8, 7. We're going to drop the knees in 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Drop your knees. Tuck your toes, make your way up onto your hands, press the hips up and back, and then walk your hands back to meet your feet. Come all the way up to stand. So, our heart rate boosting moves of the day, we have three of them, we're doing 30 seconds each. The first one is a bent knee to straight leg kick. So I take my hands behind my head, I bring my elbow to my knee, my hand to my foot, elbow to knee, hand to foot, side to side. Now, if you want a little bit more, add some pep in your step. Up, kick, up, kick, okay? If you're feeling speed. Our second move is a squat walk with a jump. So I'm gonna walk it back, jump up. Walk it back, jump up. If you don't feel like jumping, just walk it, forwards and backwards, staying low. My third and final move is, I call it hopscotch. I'm gonna reach my arms up and overhead. I'm gonna jump in and out, just like old school hopscotch that you would do as a kid, okay? So those are all intended to get the heart rate up. So within reason, I want you to try and move as fast as you can. All right, first 30 seconds, bent knee to straight leg kick, hands behind the head, ready, set, Let's go. We go up, kick, up, kick. Yeah. Kind of like the can can. Woo, there we go. Nice. Half done. After this, we're going to go into our squat walks. We have six, five, four, three. Two and one. Walk to the top of your workspace, 30 seconds. We walk it back and we jump. Walk it back and we jump. Otherwise, keep walking. Whew. And it can be a baby jump. Doesn't have to be anything too crazy. Just give it a shot. No one's looking, no one's judging. Good, last seven, six, five, four, three, Two and one. Last thing, hopscotch. Arms up, in and out. Backwards and forwards. <laughs> We're moving all over our workspace. And you can hopscotch around your whole house if you want. <laughs> oh, get those arms up. Yes. It's Tuesday. Last 10. We have six, five, four, Three, two, and one. Yee! Good job, everybody. Let's swap out our bands, arms for legs. If you have questions, feel free to unmute, and we'll have our question of the day. Question of the day is, where did you first hear of cup noob? Where, how? You get what I'm asking. Curious to hear. How we got involved in this? With U.S. Special Operations Command with a messed up shoulder and the rehab guys suggested it. And where was that, John? Uh, at um, Special Operations Command Headquarters, so U.S. SOCOM Headquarters, which is in Tampa, Florida. That was the last place I was stationed. Gotcha. And when was that? Uh, that was like four, four and a half years ago. Got it. Okay, so relatively recent in the grand scheme of things. That's really cool. All right, Sophia and Sydney say their dad. Kayleen says water polo. George says Jim Strake on his interview with STEM Talk in 2017. George, I think you know more about exercise science than I do. That's really cool. I'm going to have to look that one up. Steve says in Japan, 2001. Interesting. We got a wide range of, of educational sources. Mine was, uh, my sister texted me and said, 
there's this guy named Steve who, uh, who thinks you could benefit from this. <laughs> this, this guy and named Steve. Okay. So then Steve and I talked. And here you are. Diane said. And here I am. Steve the Mago pool. Diane, when was that that you heard Steve at the pool? Where am I? Oh, Steve, was about two years ago. About two years ago? I got him about two years ago. Cool. And then I heard a, a longevity uh, guy talk about him. It might have been Dr. McCullough. Yeah, yeah. Interesting how, because I'm, I'm curious, because I'm starting to have friends, my friends who are coming to me who have heard of them from a wider range of different sources. So I was just curious how everyone here had kind of like how we all got here. That's really cool. Yeah. Well, here we go. Let's put our leg bands on. Let's grab a sip of water to get started. Instagrammers, if you'd like to message or chat and mention how you first heard of the band, I'd love to hear your responses. Those on Zoom, get everything all set up, get our cycles going. When you're ready, come on up to stand. I wish my water polo team knew of these, Kayleen. That would have been really cool. <laughs> Way more progressive water team than I was on. All right, so go ahead and come on up to stand. And let's open up our hips a little bit to start. So take your hands to your hips and just start to take your right leg and draw some circles with the leg in the hip socket. Move it around. Also getting into the balance. Good. And just to note, Martha or anyone else who might need a reminder, with the tubing on the outer edge of your band, grab the outer edges and give them a little hike up. So we want them slightly angled up towards the hip bones. Last one. Let's work into the left leg. Good. We'll take three more. And rest. All right. So our first exercise of the day for the calves, I call standing bicycles. I want to lift my heels off the floor, and I'm going to drop alternating heels down one at a time. Now, if the balance does not allow you to do this, just drop alternating heels down towards the floor or let them come onto the floor. If you have the balance, try and keep your heels from touching the floor the whole time you do this, okay? So let's start together, both heels off the floor, 40 seconds, either hovering or dropping alternate heels down. And I really want you to activate your glutes and your core as you work through this to help stabilize the body. So my head stays on my spine, my shoulders stay on my hips, and I cycle it out. Yes. I find that using my core here helps a lot. I find that using my core helps in every exercise I do. Good. Keep pedaling. Awesome. Good. Last 10. Good. We have seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Calves should be starting to feel that burn. I love it. All right. We have one more set of those. The only way I can think of to make them harder is try and move faster without completely toppling over. So if your body is swaying up and moving, that means you're compensating with your body. We want to target the heels. So as straight as you can be, shoulders over hips. Let's all lift those heels up, 40 seconds. Pedal it out. Yeah. And because this requires balance, I suggest looking at a spot on the floor or the wall, fence, whatever you have in front of you that's not moving and focusing on that one spot. It will really help with the balance as you engage your core. There we go. Good. Woo. Last 10, nine, 
eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. Let's get our heart rate up. So we have three, very, three sessions of heart rate boost in the lower body workout. This is one of the three. So go ahead and bring your hands behind your head. We have 30 seconds, knee to elbow, hand to foot. Let's go. Bring it up, kick, up, kick. That's the stuff. All right. Getting those legs all the way up there. Woo! <laughs> Last 10. Working through the core to get that little twist. We have six, five, four, three, two, and one. Walk to the top of your workspace. Come into a squat. Walk it back. And we jump. Walk it back. And we jump. Want to make it even harder? Get low. Walk it back. And jump. You get to adjust how hard you want this to be. Whew. Big old jump at the top. Yes. Good. Let me see two more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right. Come on up. Arms up. Hopscotch. In and out. Last 30 seconds. And your elbows are going to want to bend here. Try and keep them straight, as straight as you can. Extending through the fingertips up towards the ceiling. Does it make it harder? Absolutely. <laughs> Last six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right. Let's grab a sip of water, and then we'll come into our next exercise, which is called squat step back. And we've been preparing to do these with our squats in our heart rate boost episodes. So for this one, I come back into that squat position. So my feet are a little bit wider than my hips and they're slightly angled out so that I can sink my butt down between my legs without rounding out my spine. So none of this, all of this. Now, I'm gonna step alternating knees back behind me. So I step my right knee back, come into squat, left knee back, come into squat. And I wanna try and do this, keeping my upper body as still as possible and getting that back knee low. Alteration, modification, come into squat and just step slightly behind you. Make it a smaller movement. You don't have to get the back knees down, but I'd like you to try. It makes it really hard, but it also makes it stronger. Okay, so let's set up together. Step the feet slightly wider than hip distance. Come into that squat position. 40 seconds, step the knee back. Come center, back, come up, side to side. There we go. From a forward plane of motion, looks like so. Nice. And you can do whatever you want with your hands. You can make fists. You can take them to your hips. You can take them behind your head. Try and keep the hips low the whole time. No coming up. And get that back knee down. Woo, there we go. That's it. Kayleen, you guys look like a choreographed dance. Same with Sophia and Sydney. They're going side to side at the exact same time. Last 10. See if you can sink your hips down even lower. Get that knee to the floor. Yes, John, amazing. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come on up to stand, kick it out. Everyone who I could see doing it was doing it great. The only thing that I truly, truly don't want you to do is round out your spine. So if you're doing this, you're cheating yourself. So even if that means backing out of the squat a little bit, but keeping your chest up, that's a good spot to be in. All right, second set. Make your way into that squat position. Side to side, 40 seconds. Here we go. Down, up, down, up. Yeah. My upper body can sway side to side, but it does not bob up and down. Keep it up. Martha, that is spectacular. <laughs> Diane looks good. George, got your arms up, looks great. 
Jim, perfect. Oh, you guys, wonderful as usual. Aha, uh -huh. last 15 seconds. Get your butts even lower. Now we're talking. 11, we have seven, six, give me all you got, five, four, three, two, and one. Come on up to stand, kick the legs out. We have our second of three heart rate boost sessions. After we get our heart rates up with this one, we're gonna take a quick pause and get some water. Bent knee to straight leg kick, hands behind the head. Here we go, up, kick, up, kick, jump on in. I don't know about you guys, but when I track my heart rate and I do these, it soars. And that's what we want. Stronger hearts, longer legs. Last four, three, two, and one. Walk to the top of your workspace. Walk it back. Jump. Walk it back. Jump. Or give me a squat walk the whole time, moving as fast as you can. Either way. We are already half done. Woo! Last 10. We have seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Arms up, half scotch. Good, extending through those fingertips, keeping your core engaged the entire time. We've got 10 more seconds and then we're gonna have some water in eight, seven, six, five, hop it, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, nice job. Okay. Let's have some water, try and do your best not to sit down. Keep moving, shaking, breathing. Congratulating yourself on a job well done. We have three more exercises for our lower body, and then we'll take it down for some core. All right, next up, eight count body builders. These are hard, and there's a modification. In the fullest form of the exercise, we go like this. I start standing. I take my hands down. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, we can definitely modify this. We can take the hands down. We can step back. We can step out, step out, step in, step in, drop the knees, push up, step up and rise. So instead of the jumps, feel free to step. The moves here are you make your way back into plank, you take your feet out to the side, you come back into plank, push up, and then you come up to stand. So I'll go ahead and start leading the regular variation. Modify however you see fit. Movement is movement. Take your time. Do what feels right. So let's start standing. My 40 seconds starts now. We are going. I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And keep going with these. I'll also walk through the modification. Yeah. So as long as you're moving, you're doing something, your body's working out, and I'm happy. Keep going. Woo. Good. Keep it up. Keep it up. Eight count bodybuilders. We have 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two and everybody come on up to stand. All right. 
We're gonna do one more set of those, and then we'll move on to our next exercise. All right, so I saw people flying. We're moving fast, and I love that. We're going for it. You know if your own body feels like it's strong or if you feel like you might get injured. So just be careful. If you squeeze your core and your butt the whole time, you're doing really well. Let's start standing. Here we go, 40 seconds. I'll start with you. We go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Keep it up. And in terms of working the whole body, this is one of the hardest things that we are going to do all day today. So be patient, work through it. Keep moving. You need to take breaks. Take breaks. It's only a workout. Yes, Jim. Woo! 15 more seconds. Yeah. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come on up to stand. Shake it out, walk it out. Our next exercise. So that one, we were just throwing our bodies around, using our whole weight, our whole body weight to go stronger. On this one, we're gonna work into some of the smaller muscles with some balance. So let's set up together. It's called single leg Romanian deadlift. The goal here, is to keep a long line from the top of your head to your back heel. So let's step the left foot forward and the right foot back coming onto the toe of the right foot. So already I have a long line from the top of my head to my back heel. You can take your hands to your hips. Now bend into the left leg and start to tip forward as much as you can. Down and up. Down and up. And even if this is just a baby tip up and down, I'm happy with it. Work your way into it. 40 seconds, we're going. Keep that bend in the standing leg to help stabilize. And ideally, you can come all the way down so that your body is parallel with the floor. Yeah, there we go. And up. I'm working my quads. I'm working my glutes. And I'm working my hamstrings in the standing leg. Woo, good. Hinging forward at that hip, keep going. And this is one of those exercises where we wanna find a point on the wall or ideally the floor to look at and keep our gaze on that spot the whole time. It can be a baby tip. Even if you just hinge forward and you practice lifting the leg up and down, I'm happy, last 15 seconds. Good, let's see if we can do one more. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Frustrating? Heck yeah. Challenging? Absolutely. Great for our balance? Also very true. Let's set up for the second side. Step my right foot forward, extend the left leg back. Find that long line between the top of your head and your back heel. So no slouching and no bending. Good. Now bend into the right leg. Give yourself a little give. 40 seconds. We come down. And back up. Yeah. Good. If you want to make it more challenging, take an even bigger bend into your right knee so you can get your chest lower to the floor. Keep it up. What is also working here? Our core. Very, very intensely our core. You're doing a plank. You're just on one foot. I'm not gonna call anyone out because I don't wanna distract anyone, but everyone I see doing this is doing a fantastic job. So keep doing what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Last 10. See if you can do one more of your best, lowest, deepest variation today. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay. Good job. Great job. All right, let's get our heart rate up one more time. We've got one more exercise, and then we're going to start to break it down and work into our core even more. Hands behind the head. Elbow to knee, hand to foot. 30 seconds. Ready, set, let's go. Up, kick, up, kick. Now we're working.
Woo! Last ones of the day. Let's make them great. Last 10. We have six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come to the top of your mat. Walk it back and jump. Walk it back and jump. We're going. The bigger a jump you can do, the better. I love it. I want to see you fly. Half jump. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and arms up, hopscotch. Good. Channeling that elementary school jumping. And if the jumping isn't working for you, you can always step, 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 half done, keep it up. We have seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, grab water. Take a couple deep breaths. Our last exercise, we're coming back down onto our hands and knees and then making our way up into plank for some mountain climbers. We're going to take 20 seconds here. Just relax, breathe, mentally prepare. When you're ready, start to make your way down onto your hands and knees. So our last exercise, the leg bands on. We're doing 30 seconds of mountain climbers, only 30 seconds. So I want you to go all out sprint. So I step my legs back, I pull my knee into my nose, I go up and up. We're starting in four, three, two, and one. Let's go. Either step it up or get wild. Pull those knees into your nose. Give me everything you've got. 30 seconds, all out mountain climbers. Let's go. <laughs> Good. And we want to keep activating our glutes and our arms, keeping them strong so that the upper body doesn't shift and rock too much. George, I think you're going to launch into orbit the rate you're going, and I love it. <laughs> yes. Oh, these are great. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two, and one. Everybody come on down to sit. Straighten your legs, pedal them out, bend alternating knees. Great job, gang, great job. We have three exercises for our core, 30 seconds each, and we are done. The first one, I root my feet into the floor, I reach my arms through my legs, I reach and reach. Three knees through. The second exercise, bicycle. And the last one, double leg lowers, down and up. Now, as you're doing your lowers, do not let there be space between your lower back and the floor. So if you can pop a hand underneath there, you're dropping your legs too low. I need you to work your core more so we don't compromise our back. Let's root the feet into the floor. Reach your arms up. Reach your arms through your legs, 30 seconds. Up, up, up. And get into those upper abs, which we don't always give enough love. Today, we're giving them all the love. Good, reach, reach. And as you're doing this, tuck your chin into your chest. The back of the neck is nice and long. We don't want to crunch. We do want to crunch, just our core, not our neck. Good. See if you can get all the way up off those shoulders, reaching fingertips to toes. We have eight. Bicycles in six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Take your hands behind your head. Pull the legs into tabletop, side to side. We are rolling. And if you feel like you need a little bit extra work today, by all means, you can take these really fast, but also you can take them really slow. We're working the core. The core is going to do its job no matter our speed here. Nice, guys. Getting alternate elbow to alternate knee. We've been practicing that with our core, with our cardio work for four, three, two, and one. Come all the way down, extend the arms by your sides. Legs come up, we drop them down. 
and up, down and up. Doesn't matter to me how low your legs go, as long as every vertebrae of your spine stays rooted into the floor the whole time. Now we're working, these look great. Yeah. Core is most one of the most important parts of the whole body. It controls all of our movement. Woo, last 10 seconds. See if you can relax your shoulders away from your ears for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Pull the knees into the chest, rock side to side. Congratulate yourself on a job very, very well done. Good. Start to rock and roll up and down along the spine until you come up to sit and then extend those legs straight. Take a forward fold hamstring stretch. Let your shoulders hang. Let your head hang. Let your jaw relax and give me three big breaths here. And after your next one, roll up to sit. Take your left foot over your right leg and take your right elbow to that knee, come into a spinal twist. We're opening up this hip and we're twisting into the spine. Keep growing taller from the top of your head. Twisting our spine side to side is one of the most underutilized mobility exercises that I think people can always afford to do more of. I'm a huge spinal person. Good. Let's go ahead and switch sides. Take the right foot, cross it over the left leg, twist left elbow to right knee, keep growing taller. And you can use this back hand, the right hand, to keep pressing yourself up. And you can think about engaging your core ever so slightly here to twist a little bit deeper. But most importantly, just breathing. And when you're ready, you start to untwist, come back through center, bring yourself up to stand, and make your way into a forward fold. Give the legs a pedal, straightening alternate knees, doing your best to keep your heels rooted into the floor the whole time. And when you're ready, take a big bend in both knees, roll up nice and slowly. And once we come up, extend the arms out to the side, circle out the shoulders. Reach up, circle out the shoulders. And lastly, bring your palms together, big round of applause. Nice job. We'll be here, same time tomorrow. I love the hard work today. If you have any requests for particular areas that you want to work on exercising or different kinds of exercises you want to explore, that is what I'm here for. Let's keep going. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks, Laurel. Have a great Welcome. day. Welcome. <laughs> Good job, Martha. Good job, Martha. Thank you. <laughs>